Hey guys, so first and foremost, I know my hair is up in a top knot. My hair today has been so weird. I tried out one of the products that I'm going to show you in this haul and it just wasn't working out for me so I had to put it up in a bun. So um, yeah, it's just up right now. So I did go shopping. I do have a lot of homework to do right now so I do have to make this a quick one though I'm sure it's not going to be because my videos never are because I talk so much um, which you guys have thankfully pointed out to me. So, yeah, I decided to go shopping, and I wanted to film a haul for you guys. Hopefully I get this up today. I like the hair back here. Hopefully I get this up today, which is Saturday, so you guys can see it before my fashion how-to. I do also have to film my fashion how-to today, so I can upload it tomorrow. Anyway, let's just start, get started with the haul. I went to Sephora. I'll just start with Sephora. The first thing, I originally went in there for my Corez yogurt cream so I got another one of those I got a backup because the one I have right now I probably have maybe two weeks more use out of it so um, yeah Cora's yogurt cream is my favorite moisturizer ever so I had to get another one and I do not own a regular black nail polish at all so I had to get a Sephora by OPI black nail polish no glitter or anything it's what's a tire jack basically just standard black nail polish. No glitter, no shimmer, no anything. Because I didn't own one and I love Sephora by OPI. They're my favorite uh, brand of nail polish so yeah, had to get that. I also got this duo. They always get me at the checkout line where they have like the sam or not the samples but like the smaller sizes of things. The prices are so good I can't get over. Um, so I got two of my favorite lip balms. They were two for ten dollars which is amazing. Um, they're worth seven fifty each I believe which is expensive for a lip balm, but these last forever, and they're an amazing lip balm. So, it came with two. I'm thinking about giving one to my friend, but I'm not too sure. But the first one is grapefruit and ginger, and then there is the black tea and blackberry. And these are the Jack Black lip balms. They're just amazing lip balms. They're, are, they are expensive, but they have SPF 25 in them. Amazing smells. The black tea and blackberry, you have to buy. It smells so good. I'm going to put some on right now because it's just amazing. And I heard about these through um, Tentalia or Christine. It's her favorite lip balm. And I see why. They're amazing. Um, I love the blackberry and black tea. It smells so good. The reason why I want to give this one to my friend is the grapefruit and ginger. Not my favorite scent. It's too. It kind of gives me a headache because the grapefruit smells really strong. So I got that. And then she threw in two samples for me. A Boschia living eye treatment sample and philosophy hope in a jar sample um, then I went to forever 21 and this isn't in order like then I went to this but anyway forever 21 is next I got a bunch of basic stuff I'm just gonna kinda dump this out they changed their bags like instead of the yellow one they went to black I personally prefer the black so I don't mind so the first thing that I got I found it. Okay, so you may or may not know that my favorite nail polish is Wine by Forever 21. Love it. I've been trying to find a dupe. I found it. It's titled Burgundy. So if you're looking for it, they're selling it right now. It's called Burgundy. It's amazing. It's the best purple, plummy, ready nail polish I've ever found. Um, I got this tank top. It looks like this kind of Aztec print. This was $15.80. has buttons down the front. Um, the hem's kind of like interesting. It's kind of like a handkerchief hem almost. But yeah, it's a little bit longer on the sides. It's beautiful colors, so I couldn't resist the colors. And then to match, I got this cardigan, which I actually didn't purposefully match, but it works great. It's this like, it's probably one of my favorite colors. Uh, it looks just like Metro Chic Nail Polish by Sephora by OPI. It's like a taupe purpley kind of mauve color and this was on sale for $17.99 it's a size small but yeah it's just beautiful this looks so awesome with this they just look so good together and then I got three basic shirts I got a blue thing on sale for like eight bucks it's kind of a boat neck uh, top part um, basic gray like a heathered gray kind of loose fitting I think I got a medium yeah I got a medium um, this was eight dollars as well and I got a medium because I wanted it to be kind of loose on me because I prefer that casual look. I've been really into just jeans and a t-shirt lately or denim shorts and a t-shirt and some Converse and Toms. That's all I've been wearing lately. So um, it's just one of my favorites. And then I got this beautiful crop. 
top kind of thing. It's a little bit cropped and three quarter sleeve. This one's so flowy and soft. This one was $13.80. Size medium again because I wanted it to be flowy. So that's all I got for F21. Um, I'll move on to Goodwill. I went thrift store shopping. I did not have the patience to look through all the tops. Um, I wanted to go and find some t-shirts that I could maybe wear or hack up and try and wear. Instead I found a couple pairs of jeans that I liked that I'm going to hack up. Um, these ones will be destroyed today in my fashion how-to video, so stay tuned for tomorrow's video to see how I destroy them. Anyway, they're American Eagle jeans that were $5.99, and it says size 2. They're not a size 2. On the tag, like this part, it says size 2. On this, it says size 6. I don't know. If I am not a size 2, for one, I'm a size 6, so or 5, if you're going in odd numbers. But I just really like them. I think they're really awesome. So American Eagle, awesome jeans. Um, these ones I'm debating cutting up into shorts or not. They're bullhead jeans, which you can find at PacSun. And they fit, like, they're skinny jeans, and they fit really nice, like, at the bottom and everything. I'm going to try them on one more time, and these were $5.99 as well. I'm going to try them on one more time to see if I want to cut them up, but they'd make really awesome denim shorts, too, especially if I destroyed them and everything. Um, yeah, I just got those two pairs of jeans. Total came to, like, $12, so amazing. Um, then I went to the drugstore. In other words, Walmart. Got some more witch hazel, which is leaking all over the bag. It smells great. <laughs> I hate the smell of witch hazel. Anyway, I got some more witch hazel. It's a different bottle than I used to get, but Walmart's is really cheap. It's two dollars at Walmart, so can't beat that. Witch hazel is amazing. Um, this is the hair product that I was talking about. Everything is covered in witch hazel right now. This is the hair product that I was talking about that I tried this morning that didn't work out for me. It's um, by the brand Not Your Mother's. It's Beach Babe Texturizing Sea Salt Spray. Now I've been looking for a texturizing spray for a while because. I want to be able to just spray something on my hair and it tames the frizz. I mean, I, I trust my argan oil to tame the frizz mostly, but I want it to tame my frizz and create kind of like beachy waves. This, I don't know if I like it because my hair, it just felt like there was a lot of product in it. Maybe I should just use it on its own, but then I'm wondering if it's going to tame the frizz. I don't know. Don't know if I like it yet, but I tried it this morning and you can tell how that worked out. Um, I picked up a backup of my... Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunblock. This time I went with SPF 45, um, just because I feel like 100 is a little excessive, but yeah, SPF 45. Favorite sunscreen ever. It's always a must. One of my basic needs, one of my beauty must-haves is that sunscreen. It's amazing because you always have to protect your skin, and that I really recommend. With dry skin, oily skin, you can use it anyway. It dries almost instantly. You can put on you know, your makeup primer or your foundation right on after. It's awesome. Um, I got some lash stuff, um, some lash adhesive and individuals, and there's some missing because I'm wearing a couple of them right now on the outer parts of my eyelashes. Let me see if I can get close enough so you guys can see. Um, I'm missing one on this side. <laughs> one of them fell off, but my lashes just look a little bit longer. I think they look pretty. Um, just because I don't have lashes as it is, so I wanted to try some individuals and see if they're like a daily wear thing. And I accidentally got the Permalash um, eye glue instead of the, you know, temporary lash eye glue. So instead of the white, this is like clear, it's like permanent lashes. So they're supposed to last for a couple weeks, but I'm obviously one of them fell off, so you can obviously just pull them off. Um, I got a nail polish. It's a Revlon Top Speed color in cloud. It's 710 cloud, in case you're curious. It's the color I have on my nails right now. I'm obsessed with this color. Like, I just painted my nails it. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. It's like a lavender with a lot of white pigment in it, so it's a really light, creamy color. I think it looks so pretty. It makes your nails look really long, too, because they're, like, almost white. And... To go with that, I've heard that this is a dupe for the Sachet Vite, so I'm crossing my fingers it is. It's the Sally Hansen Mega Shine Top Coat, and apparently it's like diamond strength, dries in 60 seconds. It did dry super fast. I did nick a couple of my nails and smudge them a little bit, but I'll just touch those up later. But um, it dries really, really fast, and the reason why I wanted to try this, even though I have my Sachet Vite, is because the Sachet Vite 
peels really easily. It peels my polish off. So if I chip the corner of my nail, the whole polish strip will come off and my nail will be completely bare, let alone, you know, the chip itself. So, um, plus I'm really bad at picking at my polish because um, I have a habit of biting my nails. So when I don't bite my nails, I like to pick at my nail polish that I have on. And so... Yeah, when I have the sachet bead, it makes it really easy to pick, whereas if it's hard to pick at and it's like solidified on my nail and it's not like peely, then I won't pick at them as much. So I'm hoping that one's not as peely. Let me know down below what you think about the Sally Hansen top coat. And the last thing I got at the drugstore was a Revlon Color Stay palette. This is the 12 hour eyeshadow in Coffee Bean, 310 Coffee Bean. So that's what that looks like. It has the most beautiful taupe color. There's a couple satin finishes and one kind of frosty bronze color and then a matte shade. It's beautiful. I love this palette. And they're really cheap. It's like $5 for these four shadows. And I saw Lisa Eldridge use one of these palettes, so she really likes them, so I thought I would pick them up. Um, lastly, I did get this recently. So I'm going to include it in this haul. I got my cap and gown. I am graduating next Friday. It is my college graduation. So it's just an associate's degree of English. But associate degree or not, it's still a degree. Something to put on a resume, right? Isn't it cute? The only thing is it smells like grandma, like old lady. And it um, is not suitable for people with bangs. So I basically can't wear my bangs how I want to. The day of the graduation because this front part comes like to here and it just pushes my bangs into my eyes and I'm like really that's annoying it's not fair <laughs> anyway so I got my cap and gown they were like 50 bucks can't rent them either you have to buy them so I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do with these once I'm done but um, that's exciting because I am graduating so you know not every day someone gets a degree just had my friend tell me that today so that's basically my haul. Hope that was enjoyable for you guys. Make sure you stay tuned for my fashion how-to video tomorrow, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!